Hello, Tim here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have a little primer on punches. And I've demonstrated a little bit in a, another video on how I use a punch. But there's a lot of varieties and you can make up your own too. So what I started with is a stippling tool. And I have a variety. These are the first two I bought. And the stippling tool just adds a little bit of uh, highlight, like this fleur de lay, which is a future project. But this is something that here shows a little bit of that stippling. And what it does is just it kind of creates a little shadow in your carving on a flat panel carving. Right here is a, a Phillips screwdriver bit that I made into a punch. It was broken and I ground it down. So let's see what that one looks like. And I'll show you what the standard ones look like. We'll just go down and talk about each one here a little bit. Uh, by the way, you can make your own out of a cut nail. These, this cut nail is uh, mild steel. It's not hardened. And so this has got a single row of, of um, points on it. And this one, the circle ones, there's bigger square ones. Kind of depends on what you're after, but the bigger ones cover more ground, but you can't get into tight spaces. So let's take a look. I got the grow pearl here so you can see what I'm doing up close. That's the two, two rolls. This is the big one. Let's see what that one does. The round one. This is a bigger round one. And some of them get a little bigger than the others. Here's a smaller round one. And I don't use all of them, but it just depends on what you got to do. Now here's the specialty ones that I made for a particular application. I don't remember what it was, but it's a little triangle. The punches will do some things that are that'd be hard to carve that. It's kind of crushing the fibers when it's closed, but I don't remember what it, exactly I did with that one. Here's that drill bit one. Kind of makes a star. And another one that I did, this is for a carving that actually defined part of the image in the carving. Looks kind of like an arrowhead there. And that's one that I made out of a cut nail. And the one I use, actually, one of the ones I use the most is the single one. And that's just simply a nail sharpened in, in, a, in a piece of wood. So that'll get you into the tight corners. But you could see some of them may be a little bit bigger pattern than others. But that's what that does. And it just creates a nice, interesting background. These are all the stippling tools that I have. And they're just used for texturing the background or adding accent as in that carving there, and I've used it to highlight around lettering. And there are other punches, like a nail set I've used for a punch or an awl. Uh, letter punches or number punches, I've used that. And, and my own logo that you see at the end of the video here, that's a punch that was custom made. But I don't use that for texturing in the background, it's just for marking something. So that's it for my primer on stippling punches. I hope you find it helpful and just experiment yourself and it's a lot of fun to use them uh, please give it a thumbs up if you would and subscribe and we'll see you next time mm -hmm.